All right, hi everybody, 616, joined by meteorologist Jill Gilardi in the Early Warning Forecast Center. Nice to see you, Jill. Thanks so much for coming in with me. Yeah, my pleasure. Been looking over, you know, new data, comparing it to, you know, what's happening now, and still the models are like a little off. So yeah. it's one of those things you just kind of now cast, you see what's happening on radar, get those reports, and we will continue to see some areas get a little break. Yep. We've seen that, and not so much to our north, though. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at Bradley. It is still pouring snow there, but Jill, you're going to notice the line on radar it's starting to push a little bit further to the north so wonder if this is going to kind of shut down over the course of the next half hour to 45 minutes but we just have to wait and see but right now it's again as i always say it's coming down to beat the band 33 degrees with a wind out of the north at 16 you can see that snow moving horizontally i know i'm showing you this i can because i know you're waking up in other parts of the state going What's going on? Well, it's snowing in parts of northern Connecticut. Uh, there it is right there in Enfield, Windsor Locks. Uh, you can see the line, though, getting very close to Windsor Locks right now. So a very precarious line right there. You've got the rain, moderate to heavy rain in Vernon and Bolton. And then as you move down to the south and east, you can see Columbia, Andover, Wyndham, Lebanon, Hanover. Franklin all getting soaked with very heavy rain. But you know what? You can drive through rain. It's that snow that's a little bit problematic, and that is the case up in northern Connecticut. So we're going to ask you to be really, really careful up there, okay? A little bit of a dry slot here. Torrington, I just noticed our ICAM there. Not a lot going on. Harwinton, Avon, New Britain, Berlin, Wolcott, Waterbury, Cheshire, Wallingford, all in a little bit of a lull right now. But we are expecting that to fill back in throughout the day today as the storm system scoots a little bit further to the east and we get that counterclockwise rotation. Still up, winter weather advisory in effect, not for Middlesex, not for New London, but uh, we've got a winter storm warning in effect for Tolland and Wyndham and for Litchfield. So that's where the snowfalls will be the highest. Ramp it up right now. We're done by daybreak tomorrow. And we're expecting that heavy, wet snow in northwest and northeast hills. Uh, again, close to nine inches in Granby right now. Close to nine inches of snow, where in Hartford we've got nothing. Statewide, wind gusts to 40 plus miles an hour. Shoreline, there could be some minor coastal flooding. And for more on the totals, we're going to send it to Jill. Jill, we've updated southeast Connecticut to reflect the fact that there is no winter weather advisory in effect. Yeah, I mean, coding to maybe uh, two inches. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, farther to the uh, north and west. West, there's a, just a really sharp gradient setting up as we were talking about. So again, big time differences over a short distance, still anticipating the higher amounts off to the uh, north and west and also north and east. We've seen visibility waver at times. You're going to talk about low visibility and also that potential for, you know, it to become very slick out there. This low is doing all kinds of funky little things as we go through the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. So again, I'm still seeing some snow mainly everywhere as we get into the afternoon, at least according to this model. Now, I've seen other models that are saying it could change the rain. I mean, this thing is still, even this, you know, close up to everything happening, is still a little bit unpredictable. Again, what happens is there's nothing really you know, driving it. So it just kind of meanders. It doesn't really know what it does, you know, wants to do. So lingering impacts the wind. Uh, we've been talking about that with the heavy snow. That's going to be concerning. Uh, Scott, again, we're seeing already branches being weighed down by that heavy, heavy snow. And there is that wind advisory, which is only going to compound matters, making things a little bit worse as we're expecting those gusts to be in excess of 40 miles an hour through the day today and through the day tomorrow. That wind does not relax tomorrow. So don't think that's going to happen. All right, as we move you through your seven day forecast gets better tomorrow. A couple of snow showers tomorrow morning, but windy tomorrow with partial sunshine. Thursday and Friday look amazing. 50 degrees, a lot of melting taking place. And then Saturday, just a chance for showers. Cooler on Sunday and Monday. Spring rolls in at 524 Ooh. in the afternoon. Isn't that nice? Renee